When estimating durations, it's often best to start with what you already have, the skills and experience of those around you, and information from previous and similar projects. Techniques such as expert judgment and analogous estimating will let you develop high-level, not very detailed duration estimates. There are two key sources of expert judgment for estimating durations. Other project managers who have led similar projects and project team members who have worked on similar projects. These individuals can provide information about how long a given task typically takes and how quickly certain people perform their work compared to others. Analogous estimating combines expert judgment and historical information from similar completed projects. The past project is the analogy you compare to the new project. This technique is also known as top-down estimating. It is particularly useful in the early stages of planning because it can provide a ballpark figure to work with. Its reliability depends on how similar the projects are, how much experience the sources of expert judgment have, and whether the team members have similar levels of experience as those in the previous project. Parametric estimating uses a mathematical formula that takes into account various factors that affect duration. Consider the basic formula for parametric estimating. When a single human resource is carrying out the activity, you will multiply the quantity of work by the productivity rate. If you have multiple resources assigned to an activity, you multiply the quantity of work by the productivity rate and then divide the result by the number of resources. Here is a simple example of how parametric estimating works. Suppose you have 10 rooms to paint. Your productivity rate, based on previous painting projects, is 4 hours to paint each room. You multiply the two amounts, which results in 40 hours of work. You intend to use two painters, so you divide the result by 2. So the duration equals 20 hours. I should point out that some activities' durations are not affected by the amount of labor assigned to them. For example, downloading data from a single server with a fixed download rate will take the same amount of time, regardless of how many people are doing it. Three-point estimating is one of the most accurate methods of estimating activity durations. To create three-point estimates, you begin by performing three steps. First, you record an optimistic estimate that reflects the estimated duration if conditions are very favorable. Next, you record a most likely estimate based on typical conditions and historical information. The third step is to record a pessimistic estimate based on how foreseeable negative conditions might delay an activity. The fourth step is to assign weights to the estimates. You need to assign weights that reflect the probability that each estimate will turn out to be accurate. If you're using a beta distribution formula, you assign a weight of 4 to the most likely estimate and weights of 1 to the other estimates. A weight of 4 means it's 4 times as likely to happen as an estimate with a weight of 1. The next step is to multiply each of the estimates by their respective weights to get the weighted durations. The most likely duration of 9 hours is multiplied by 4, giving a weighted duration of 36 hours. The optimistic and pessimistic estimates are weighted as 1 and so remain the same, 7 hours and 15 hours. In the sixth step of the process, you total the weighted duration of each estimate. In this case, the sum is 36 plus 15 plus 7. This gives you a total of 58. In the final step of the process, you divide the sum of the weighted durations by the sum of the weights. The result is the three-point duration estimate. In this example, the sum of the weighted durations is 58. The sum of the weights is 4 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 6. You then divide 58 by 6, which gives you a three-point duration estimate of 9.67 hours. Note that this result is very close to the most likely duration, which was 9 hours, because that duration carried the most weight. Project managers frequently add reserve time or contingency reserves by increasing their initial duration estimates by a fixed percentage. Reserve time buffers can be added to the total project time, or they can be added as a chunk of extra time for specific activities. Reserves can help offset uncertainties or risk in the project. In summary, there are a number of tools and techniques that can be used to estimate activity durations. They include expert judgment, analogous estimating, 
parametric estimating, and three-point estimating. Project managers may also add a reserve to the estimates in order to account for uncertainties or risk.